I'm Jayla Washington. I'm in the 10th grade, and today we are going to be making a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Come on. Come on. Come on. You got to grab. You got to have, make sure you have some bread. It doesn't matter if it's white, if it's wheat, or any of those other ones. Here's white bread we use today. And then we're going to open up my cabinet, and we're going to grab our peanut butter. Make sure you have, it doesn't matter what kind of peanut butter you use, crunchy, smooth, organic. And we're gonna come over here to this lovely white refrigerator and we're going to grab our jelly. This is a freshly, this is Welch um, jelly. It doesn't matter which one you use. And this is not sponsored by any brand or anything. <laughs> But if you would like to sponsor, make sure you grab a spoon or a knife. It doesn't matter which one. And, and grab a, a plate, <laughs> you know? You have a plate. You don't want to make a mess. So here we go. Okay, first step is you're going to open up your bread and grab two slices. So let me do that. Two slices, and you want to separate them. Come closer. Come closer, come, come person. We have your bread right here. Now, we have our jelly. You want to open up your peanut butter too. So I have easy access to both. Then you're going to grab as much jelly as you think you need. If you're a big fan of jelly, then you will grab will have more jelly than usual. But if you're a big fan of like um, peanut butter, you do the same thing. I personally enjoy peanut butter because it's smoother and it goes down easier. But sometimes I like to grab some peanut butter and jelly and eat it off the side. Then you're going to take your jelly, like I'm doing, and you're going to spread it gently across the bread. Because bread is known as being very weak and tear easily. So you have to be smooth. Now, I personally do not enjoy jelly like that. So this will be enough for me. But if you really feel like you need more, be my guest. Then we have our peanut butter, our Jiffy, wait, no, it's Jiff peanut butter, creamy peanut butter. In my opinion, is the best. So you're going to take a scoop of peanut butter. I'm going to have to do a double scoop because that wouldn't have been enough. And for peanut butter, it's very tough and thick. So you have to take your time on spreading it, you can't rush through it like you did with the jelly, because jelly is more smoother and has a smoother texture to it. So you wanna rub your peanut butter in, you know, gently. And I personally feel like, since I love peanut butter, I'm gonna do one more scoop, not that much, and I'm gonna be gentle. Yeah. And I don't know if y'all like the crust on y'all sandwiches, I personally do not like the crust. Now, we have um, both of our, um, our jelly and our peanut butter together. So you're going to take your peanut butter or your jelly. It doesn't matter which one first. And you're going to close it. Just like, you can, I like to pat mine down in the surface of the middle to get it all together. You don't have to do this. <laughs> and here's your sandwich. And yeah, let me take a bite out of it. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Jayla. That was awesome. <laughs>